Hi, this report is uh, current as of Friday the 8th here. Uh, the latter temperatures on the lakes around the town here have continued to warm to the point where they're now at the 79, 80 degree mark. So things are definitely changing all the time. The weed growth is uh, up and are, uh, pretty normal, I guess, on most of the lakes here. Uh, as far as bluegill spawning activity, it's still in disarray, I would have to say, is the only word I can think of. There are bluegills that are in spawning. There's bluegills on the weed lines. There's bluegills over the weeds. I haven't really found much for active bluegills out suspended or away from the weeds yet. Although you do find some a few fish suspended, they don't seem to cooperate. And uh, I did catch a few of them here recently, and some of those were small white bass on Lake Monona. Up here on Lake Mendota, there's still a bit of a perch bite going on on the lake here. Uh, I guess I say a bit, but uh, there's a few guys that are doing pretty good out here. Weed lines still seem to be the tip and uh, the key in a lot of areas, all over in the uh, university area, down the campus, uh, towards uh, Tenney Park. On those weed lines down through there, guys are catching some perch. Over on the west side of the lake, Hudson Park, Marshall Park, Spring Harbor, all those areas uh, at one time or another, guys have been catching some perch over in there. Uh, I've even heard over by the Commodore. I've heard some up by um, uh, between Governor's Island and Governor Nelson State Park on that weed line there. And there's been some bluegills scattered along all those same weed lines uh, in smaller numbers. But uh, some nice fish and some actually really big fish once in a while, just not a lot of those. Smallmouth bass still seem to be pretty cooperative up here on Lake Mendota and largemouth. Some of the guys are catching some uh, largemouth throwing topwaters and smallmouth early and late in the day on the inside weed lines. Otherwise, they've been fishing the deeper weed lines and some of the deeper rocks for the smallmouth. Down on Lake Monona, I was talking about that bluegill action. Um, weed lines over by Hudson Park has been pretty good. Over by uh, Wild Haven, uh, Turville Point. Uh, Olin Park, that area there, those weed lines all are producing some bluegills. I wouldn't say that it's fast and furious, but there are some nice fish showing up. Even throwing bobbers over the weed edge with a piece of crawler or spikes has been working pretty good too. The bluegill size-wise, they're pretty nice fish, and there's been quite a few perch showing up on several weed lines on Lake Monona also. Uh, this, this, well, all, all season so far. Musky action, uh, they're still getting a few muskies on Monona and Wabisa. It seems as though that that night bite probably is the better bite that's been going on, although they have been somewhat more active during the day here recently too. Lake Wabisa, I've been still catching, uh, getting bluegill reports from down there, although they're very scattered, um, <coughs> excuse me, over the weed edges and down by uh, Christie's and up by Hog Island and over by uh, uh, Babcock and down and through there. You're, but uh, not a typical bluegill bite that we're used to over there on Lake Wabisa. It seems to be pretty subdued so far. And uh, I'll just, we'll just have to keep an eye on that and see what happens. And then Lake Kigans has been pretty tough this last week from what I heard. Not a lot of action down there at all, really. Uh, you know, a little bit of bluegill, a little bit of walleye, uh, even a little bit of bass action. But it's been pretty slow overall down there. And I'd have to say, really, that's about it right now. All the highlight is probably these perch up here on Lake Mendota on the weed lines. And again, then Monona perch and bluegills on the weed lines. Uh, those seem to be the two key panfish activities going on in the area. And of course, as always, those smallmouth up on Lake Mendota are pretty cooperative. That's it for right now. If you've got any information you'd like to share, you can call us at the store or just post it right here on the website. The number at the store is 608-241-4225. And as always, if you're on the road and need a phone report, you can call the Fishing Report Hotline, 608-244-3474. Thanks. Bye.